This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday morning, the 17th of October. I'm James Spann. A nice day today, but some active storms coming in here late tonight. Could they be severe? Well, the potential may be looking a little higher. Let's get in there and take a look. A lot to talk about. First off, the uh, sky cam shots early this morning at the insane hour of 5 a.m. Who would be awake at that hour? Well, those wonderful doctors and nurses in that building. That's the Children's Hospital of Alabama, their new facility that opened up earlier this year. Looking good on a clear, calm morning. Look at downtown Fayette and downtown Clanton in Chilton County. You can see the high clouds from our friend uh, Paul. The system on the uh, Baja California coast is uh, those high clouds are starting to move away. So I think today should be mostly sunny. But we've got that big trough developing over the Plain States, and that's going to kick up a fuss later today. Temperatures this morning are coldest up in the northern uh, part of New England. They're below freezing up there. New surge of cooler air coming down over the uh, northern Rockies, but not excessively cold for this time of the year. All right, severe weather potential. Look at the risk area now. It's been expanded. The standard slight risk is up basically in the area from Jackson, Mississippi, and Monroe, Louisiana to St. Louis. And uh, that includes the northern two-thirds of Mississippi, West Tennessee, much of the state of Arkansas and much of southeast Missouri, and within that, we have an enhanced wind probability up and down the Mississippi. That would be a Vicksburg up to Memphis and Cape Girardeau. And boy, look at the tornado probabilities. Even got a hatched area over uh, parts of the Mississippi Delta over into Arkansas. So uh, Vicksburg to Memphis, uh, there might be a few discrete cells that form late this afternoon or this evening with tornado potential. And of course, we'll be uh, we'll, we'll take a very close look at what happens overnight in Alabama. But again, no part of Alabama is in a risk. And then during the day tomorrow, the risk is way, way east of here over uh, North Carolina and Virginia as we go sunny during the day tomorrow. There's the rain for the next five days, valid through the weekend, suggesting rain amounts of about one half inch for northwest Alabama, lighter amounts down to the south. Quick peek at tropical weather. We have Hurricane Raphael with winds of 80 miles an hour, a minimal hurricane. And that's uh, headed northeast. Going to do the loop-de-loop -loop out there in the North Atlantic, but will not bother uh, the United States. Let's look at modeling. We'll talk about what happens tonight. This is the OZGFS at 1 o'clock this afternoon at 500 millibars. There's your big trough over the plains down below that. The surface slope pretty far north up on the Canadian border with a cold front coming down through uh, Missouri and uh, around Tulsa. Let's go down to the RPM, as we like to do. This is 9 o'clock tonight, and you can see a pretty nasty squall line in Arkansas and Louisiana. We're dry. Uh, all of the action here takes place after midnight. This is 1 a.m., and look at that. All of a sudden, the RPM keeps this thing pretty strong as the storms move into northwest Alabama from the Shoals down to about Hamilton and back down to Jackson. And, and the model is suggesting that the line might be broken instead of continuous, and that might open the door for some little circulations in there. So, uh, you know, we'll, again, we'll look at some severe weather parameters in just a moment. And at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, the back edge of the rain is passing through Birmingham. So, you know, if you're in Tuscaloosa or Jasper, the rain should be over before the sun comes up. Still some rain over East Alabama. Then by 11 o'clock, it's gone for everybody around here. So the rain ending early in the day. And there's 5 o'clock tomorrow. We should be in bright sunshine. The sky becomes mostly sunny. Uh, we go to another model. This is the uh, NAM, uh, the, the NAM 4-kilometer run and you can this is um, 1 a.m late tonight early tomorrow morning and again that's this it looks like the rpm uh, those storms look pretty strong on the simulated radar reflectivity and uh, so I, I think the greatest chance of severe weather should be initially as they move into the state north and west of a line from about huntsville to tuscaloosa main risk from straight line winds but you'd have to watch for any possible circulation in through there, but they should weaken as they move on through the state overnight. Uh, this is the Craven Brooks Severe Weather Index. Our friend, uh, our friends Jeff Craven and Harold Brooks came up with this years ago. Uh, some of the best tornado researchers, and this gives you a good idea where the greatest severe weather potential might be. And uh, this is valid uh, tonight, or just after midnight tonight, 1 a.m. if you will. And it's got the higher uh, uh, numbers 
basically from near Tuscaloosa South. And the, the problem is going to be the lack of instability. There's just not much surface instability. If we have a lot of instability, this might be a big severe weather problem overnight tonight. But thank goodness the instability values are low. This is the supercell composite index. This is a, based on different parameters and same time frame. This is 1 a.m. And again, the numbers are really high over northwest Alabama. And as usual, it's the case where the better dynamics are to the north, the better instability is to the south. There could be a sweet spot somewhere in there. So uh, we might be burning the midnight oil tonight in the weather office. Uh, with the, again, the main risk over northwest Alabama, probably midnight to 3 a.m., something like that. All right, this is the GFS at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Everything's gone. We start to turn cooler. We might have a hard time getting out of the 60s tomorrow, although most models bring us up to the low 70s. And that's assuming the sun comes out, and I think it will. I think the rain will be over early. Should be a sunny day, kind of a comfortable day, but a little bit cooler. Friday, look at the snow potential up north underneath that big upper low. Uh, Chicago, Grand Rapids, maybe even Indianapolis getting a few snowflakes. Wow. But again, Friday should be gorgeous here. Sunny with uh, high in the low 70s, lows well down in the 40s. Same thing Saturday and the same thing Sunday. Just great weather for the weekend. Sunny, mild days, clear, chilly nights, just what you like to see in mid-October. Early next week, things don't change much. We stay dry Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Highs in the 70s and lows would be in the 50s uh, next week. We'll check the end of the forecast. This is the 1st of November. Pretty strong flow as you expect, as we get into November and down below that, if that's right, that might suggest a few showers with very cold air up north, but that zonal flow will keep it up there. And this is the time of the year we kind of like to peak at the NAO, the North Atlantic Oscillation. And when it's positive, the weather here can be fairly mild. When it goes negative, that can open the door for shots of cold air over the eastern half of the nation. We note it tries to go negative. Uh, based on the GFS output out there toward the end of the month, just something to watch. We're not saying it's going to turn sharply colder, but we'll see how it plays out. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock or so this afternoon. And don't forget to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.